Good morning, folks. Welcome to an ICC Queensland Daily Weather Wrap today, the 5th of March, 2023. My name's Chris Nitto. This update brought to you by our major sponsor, Townsvilleshed.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe, accredited shed. Don't forget, we have a major weather system in play and we have significantly more in-depth forecasts available to subscribers at join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. So you can see here, we're talking about the Gulf flow, the week ahead for Queensland, plus the potential for a coral sea low later on down the track and a much more in-depth short-range forecast for the state. So if you'd like more details, join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. Let's get on with it. Rainfall over the past 24 hours, thanks to the Bureau of Meteorology, we can see some substantial shower activity across northeast Queensland, particularly heavy around the Daintree coastline. You can see, once again, a bees bike, 108 millimetres, and I think Daintree Village is up there with about 100 and something as well, not shown on this map for some reason. Uh, further inland, Laura, 108 millimetres. In the middle of far north Queensland, 103, a drum duff. And we've also seen substantial rainfall around Cape York Peninsula's northern section and also through the Gulf of Carpentaria's Gulf Country. Looking at the main driver of weather across northern Australia at the moment, particularly through Queensland, we've got a low pressure system located in here around the Queensland NT border and just offshore. We've got a monsoonal flow pattern into the uh, northern parts of Cape York Peninsula, driving lots of rain out there. We've got a northwesterly flow turning northeasterly here around the north tropical coastline, which is creating some widespread shower activity. And we've got a southeasterly flow, which is keeping most of the eastern parts of Queensland dry and stable. However, as that southeasterly encounters that northeasterly, we see increased rainfall potential potential across northeast Queensland. For at least the next four or five days, that low in the Gulf of Carpentaria isn't expected to do much. It might drift a touch further to the eastwards, but it's not expected to move too far over the next few days. If we take a look at our surface winds, they give us a pretty good idea of what's going on. We can see the monsoonal northwesterly coming into the northern Cape York Peninsula. You can see that monsoon uh, extending down into the Coral Sea as well. Now what happens here is that monsoon extends further southwards. Let me just get my little scribble crayons out. There we go. Monsoon extends further southwards. Southeasterly wind comes up the coastline and in here is a period is an area of turning and in that area of turning is where we're going to see some substantial rainfall in the next 24 to 48 hours. If we take a look at our surface winds, we we can also see they're quite strong as well across the eastern parts of the Gulf of Carpentaria and the western parts of Cape York Peninsula. In fact, there's a severe weather warning for abnormally high tides going on here across the western coast of Queensland. Those winds will be maintained, that southeasterly flow will be maintained for most of today. Into tomorrow, we can see this little turning area around northeast Queensland, the possibility of a very weak circulation developing around the north coast as well, which would only seek to further enhance rainfall in that area. Alrighty, so we can see here lots of rain across the Cape through the day today. A few showers and thunderstorms across northern inland Queensland. A significant amount of shower activity around northeast Queensland. A couple of very isolated convective cells down through the southern inland parts of the state as well. As we go into tomorrow morning, you can see significant rainfall developing across the northeast coast of Queensland in that turning flow pattern. And we can see some showers uh, by the end of the morning also starting to creep into the Herbert Burdekin region as well. Uh, widespread shower and thunderstorm activity across the Cape and the Gulf Country. Accumulated rainfall between now and tomorrow morning when we speak, we can see significant falls of rain around the Gulf Coast, the west coast of Queensland and the northeast coast of Queensland. These are areas of hotspot of rain development and shower development. As I say, we're just watching for weak circulations. Obviously the main circulation in the Gulf, but also the potential for a weak circulation around the far, far northern coastline, which would seek to enhance rainfall in that area. Outside of that, some very isolated convection across the inland parts of the state as shown by the blue splotching here on the, uh, on the chart and some extreme extremely isolated shower activity on the coastline and the coastal escarpments here in the afternoon across Queensland outside of the tropics. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you tomorrow.